Creation beginning. Oh, these things are long. Jesus fucking Christ. It doesn't look like there will be any blizzard. Looks like today's forecast for the southern Sweden region of this Lost Belt is clear skies. I'm all set, senpai. I'm glad it's still sunny out. I just hope we don't run into any storms. Like, I doubt we'll see many storms as big as the one in Russia, but this Lost Belt certainly is extraordinary. We'll need to pay close attention in general, not just to the weather as we go, especially since we can't get on much in the way of backup this time. I know, I really wish there was another heroic spirit who could take over for me here, but since there isn't, we'll just have to make do. Technical advisor, how long are you planning to spend saying your goodbyes? Get back in here already. Hey. Need I remind you, you're the only operational heroic spirit we've got right now, and every second you spend away is another second the rest of us are defenseless. She is not that far away from you, so no, you are definitely not defenseless. Batso over here has lost his damn mind. Ah, oh, what's the matter, Director? Missed them already. Something you want to say to them before they go. No, I mean yes. With the paper moon stolen, our position is extremely precious, precarious. Add to that the fact that we have no mobility on land. And we're as good as dead if an enemy happens to find us. Therefore, it is imperative you to complete your mission and return as quickly as possible. Whatever you do, make sure you don't just rush in and get yourselves hurt or worse. Be absol uh, we absolutely cannot afford to lose any more of our human or servant resources. Really, we can't afford to lose anything else given the state of things. <gasps> anyway, your first order of business is getting the paper moon back. The second is returning here safely. Now get on with it. He he, for all his bluster, our new director really does wear his heart on his sleeves. I'm pretty sure that was his way of showing his worry about you two. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point, right? Yes, it is. I'm starting to get a better sense of him. We'll have to make sure we come back safely. I'm starting to get a better sense of him. Uh, oh, you should have heard him. Have the demi servant girl injuries healed yet? Will those two be okay if they run into the demonic sword wielder again? Not that he's gonna lift the finger himself given how he's been an even more timid than usual ever since Holmes got taken out. I must admit, I am a little worried about the border with you being the only one who can defend it now. Hey, I know I'm not much of a fighter, but don't you worry. I'm pretty sure a cigar isn't going to bother the border anymore. Plus, I've already gone and put up an extra sturdy bounded field around it anyway. And it's not just sturdy, I made sure none of the indigenous life would even be able to tell it's there, especially the giants. I don't think I've worked this hard on a bounded field since I was putting the finishing touches on the Mona Lisa. I had no idea Da Vinci used to put a bounded fields around her paintings back when she was alive. All right, then we'll be here. We'll be here waiting for you to come back with good news. You two be extra careful out there. We still don't know much about this place after all. Not to mention that well. The fact that we won't be able to communicate is going to be a serious issue. I wish I could have done something about that, but we're past that now. The ice and snow here are infused with magical energy, which will get in the way no matter what. So we won't be able to talk to each other 
uh, once you're more than a few kilometers out. But that doesn't mean I'm going. I'm giving up. I still ha got a few ideas. I'll try when I get the chance. Oh, 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 oh. you have you've had a lot on your plate between healing homes and fixing the border. With the border immobilized, we effectively won't be able to share what each uh, what we each learn until you make it back to this not coping area. This will be the first time you two are entirely on your own. Make sure you're es you're especially careful. Don't go out of your way to save any cute girls asking for help unless they are at least as cute as me. Okay. We won't, and please, you take care of yourself too, Da Vinci. Ugh, you guys are so damn nice for being so young. Then again, I guess I'm younger than you now, aren't I? Okay, I'll be careful too. Oh, and one more... Huh? What? When did you sneak out here? Aha, uh -huh. you were hiding out in my shield again, weren't you? Okay, it looks like Fu's coming along with us too. Uh, I feel safer already. Yes, going from two to three uh, means fifty percent more resources. Thanks for coming along. Fu. So even Fu's trying to help make up for our lack of personnel now. <gasps> well, he has great instincts, at least, isn't that right, you little furball, you? Hehe, <laughs> yes, Fu is more than capable on his own, right? Having him along will be a big help. I think we'll be able to effectively fight as a group of three now. Does Mosh not recall what Fu is or something? Yes, I mean that. You want to sit on my shoulder, not Senpai's. Looks like he really likes you, Mosh. Okay, this two-person team is now officially a three-person team. And on that note, it's finally time to show off my latest invention. This little beauty is something I came up with while I was trying to figure out a way to stay in touch. Sadly, they won't help us communicate, but they will help you get around this lost world a lot easier. I give you... Why? The Ortonex... Olerius board. Oh, hold on. The Ortonex Olerius board attachments. What the? Are these some kind of additional equipment for my exoskeleton? When did you even have time to make these? Those are skis if I ever saw any. Never underestimate a genius. He 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 he. That's right, these are basically super awesome skis. Thanks to their magical air detectors, you'll be zipping around like nobody's business. Not even hilarious the guardian patron saint of skiers has. has got anything on these babies. Don't worry, they come with wards and gyro sensors designed to help you keep your balance. I've got a set for you too, Dante Diego. With these, you three should be able to make your way around the Scandinavian snow plane in the blink of an eye. This is awesome. You're the best, Davinci. Hee hee hee. That's right. You should do well. Be impressed. Damn well, be impressed. Uh, oh, be aware. Be aware that if you want to go really fast, you should fold yourself, yours up, and just hang on tight to much. Thank you, Da Vinci. I appreciate this a lot, but this isn't taking care of yourself. Hee hee hee. Hey, if you're going to stay up all night working, best do it when you're young. Besides, I asked wh way too much of you to the day before yesterday. It's the least I can do to make up for that. I'm sure Holmes would say the same. But then again, given what our great detective is like, maybe not. I know it's my fault you two keep having to shoulder so much responsibility. Wouldn't say it's your fault. Okay. Mm. Excuse me. 
So at the risk of sounding like a broken record, be careful out there. Here. I filled the storage space in Masha's shield with camping gear, water, and a few days worth of food. So make sure you rest up when you need to. Remember, it's gonna be just the two of you and foe, so you need to be extra, extra careful. Right. See you later, Da Vinci. Now, if only foe didn't come, it could have just been me and Mosh. Bye. Have a good trip. Lord of the beginning, okay. I was about to say, wait a minute, there he is, there she is. No ice and fire. So this is the Scandinavian Lost Belt. Looking at it again, it's all very beautiful, isn't it? Yes, that's true. It's definitely a beautiful landscape. Hey, oh shit, hold on. It says, wait. Yes, ice and snow need extreme cold, but fire is one of the hottest things in this in the world. Yet somehow, here they are coexisting. I've never seen anything like it before, but at the same time, it's kind of bizarre. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can burn, <sighs> but. There's the fire floating above the mountains. This scenery may be beautiful, but it's also incomprehensibly mis mystic. The or the Orius boards are great at getting the the Olerius the Olerius boards are great at getting around since they can even go up in climbs, but when you move at high speeds, you really won't be able to take stock of your surroundings as much. 
Now that we're taking a break to look around, there are several things I've noticed. For example, the amount of fallen snow I read that Scandinavia actually isn't all that snowy except for Norway. But here in this lost belt, the mountains are frozen over, even the trees are. No, wait. No tree, not trees, just ice shaped like confi, confi, fears. Does this mean there aren't any plants here? It does look like there's only f fire, ice, and snow here. That certainly seems that way, at least at this point. <laughs> Maybe this means there's a, di a different force at work here, something very different from what caused Russia's Ice Age. I remember hearing these Lost Bells are alternate hypothetical versions of history. Hey, what must this world's history have been like for it to have this sort of scenery? Ah! Look, senpai, birds. That must mean this lost belt has other normal animals and not just giants and demonic beasts. I'm kind of relieved to see that. Right? The fact that birds can survive in this world is a good sign. So, is there something about those birds that bother you? That bothers you? Um, anyways, we should get back to our journey. Fo, you stay inside my shield while we use Olaris' board, okay? We don't want the winds blowing you away while we're on the move, after all. But first, here's a map of where we would be proper human history. What? Well, uh, where we would be in proper human history, there's definitely some margin of, of error since there aren't many any GPS satellites uh, to sync up with. But it should. Still help. There we go. We currently on the Scandinavia Peninsula, right on top of what used to be a Lake Veterian in southern Sweden. Hang on. We're on a lake? Yes, that's right. At least we would be in proper human history. Lake Vatern is an enormous lake believed to be to have taken shape after Earth's most recent ice age. It's said to be almost two thousand square meters. Ooh, that is long. Two thousand square meters? But in this lost belt, we're obviously standing on a mountain range covered in snow. Oh, 
It's not just the ice, snow, and fire. This lost spell differs from proper human history in a lot of significant ways. Yes, Mosh. We know. I thought I'd learned that in Russia, but after seeing all this, I feel like I'm learning it all over again. What is it, foe? Did I do something to- Ah! I'm sorry, I should have noticed sooner there are large magical energy signals nearby. They look to be giants. But why now? We didn't run into a single one on the way here. Maybe they're only approach you if you stay in one place for, too, for a long time. No, never mind. I'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to- Take care of the immediate threat. Make sure your newly tuned up Ortonis is ready to go. Understood. Ready to bat ready to begin ba battle once the giants are in range. The battle is over. There are no other magical energy signals within 30 meters of our position. I have to apologize again, Senpai. Even after all of Da Vinci's reminders to be careful, I still let my guard down. I know I need to be extra vigilant in watching for magical energy signals and servants, especially since we can't contact the border. And yet, I completely failed at that task. Don't worry, Mosh. It's okay, really. Thank you, senpai. Huh, <sighs> foe. Thank you, foe, but it's not your fault. You have nothing to apologize for. If anything, I should be thanking you for alerting us to the danger, so thank you. Given that we're unable to contact the shadow border, we're effectively cut off from Caldea itself. I need to keep that in mind. In accordance with the Caldean Personal Code, Article 30, 23, Paragraph 2. What the f It's imperative that I remain calm and proceed with caution. Okay. In other words, I'm free to make decisions, act independently, and return to the base at my own discretion. Hmm. And then make an official report, of course. Uh, protocol, I mean, personal code, paragraph 2, huh? Yes, it is. Dr. Roman added paragraph 2 when no one was looking. Uh, that explains it. Yes. Alright, let's resume our expedition, senpai. What the hell was that? I've confirmed that the Ortonix Alarius board attachment have been safely shut down and stowed. Initiating standard Ortonix movement mode. Oh. It says, since there are a lot of trees, whoops. Uh, since there are a lot of trees in this area, I think it would be better to put the Olaris board away and move around on foot for a while. Good idea. Let's do that. 
Huh, okay, senpai. Trees actually made out of ice. I can't tell if they were carved from ice or if all these tree-like formations were stuck in the ground. Either way, I can't imagine there would be much wildlife in a place like this. That said, I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but... Based on the magical energy signal I'm sensing, it looks like there are more giants past the ice trees. There are more of them gathered together. There are, I mean, there than anywhere else we've seen so far. Maybe the path we took to avoid the Fury Mountains ended up bringing us to their country, their, their territory. We don't want to fight them if we can help it. Good point. I'll keep that in mind, Master. Yes, foe, that means we will be walking from here on. Okay. I can't believe... Why is he doing that? He's already gone that far ahead. Please don't run off too far on your own, foe. We don't want a giant spotting you. You? Oh, but then again, maybe it would be okay. You're so cute that even a giant might want to keep you as a pet instead of eating you. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Senpai, can I talk to you about something? Is this about cigar? Yes, it is. Something has been bothering me about him. Sigar is one of the greatest heroes in all of Scandinavia. He reforged King Sigmund, his father's cosmic sword. Wait, what? Oh, demonic sword, Graham, after the divine spear, Gungnir shattered it. Then went on to defeat the dragon Fafnir and gained its wisdom. That all fits with what Holmes told us. Later, he and Brynhild, the Valkyrie, fell in love, but their relationship was poisoned by hate and ended with his death. He has many of the same roots as Siegfried, so much so that some believe they were actually the same hero. And yet, I don't know why, but I didn't get the sense at all from the mass heroic spirit. He. True, he couldn't be more different. He and Sigrid couldn't be more different. Thank you, Senpai. I, senpai, I think I hear some... Yeah! That sounded like a child. Right, it came from the north-northwest. Let's go. Oh no, they saw me. Now what do I do? Uh, it was going so well too. I don't understand. Why do the, why do things never turn out well for me? I'm such an idiot. Ah, no, no, please no. Eek. Eep. We made it master. Uh, please focus on keeping her safe as for me. I'll handle these giants. You get back to please, foo foe. What the? Who are you two? No, 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 no. You can't. Any child the bar Greister found is doomed. So, so, so you have to run away if you see a child being attacked by one of them. I, I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Go on. Get out of here. That is not an option. Huh? Eek, you idiots! Now they're going to squash all of us! No, they won't! We won't let them! Ortonex is holding steady at maximum output! I can do this, Master! Let's save this girl, Mosh! Right! Uh, 
This battle is over. I don't detect any other magical energy signals within 30 meters. We defeated the giants and ice creatures, but that was the first time we've come across a mountain giant. A bur Urgrissi? In Norse mythology, a Burgrisser were a, a were a race of mountain giants that were on friendly terms with the the John the Johnier and the Frost Giants. But I don't remember reading anything about them banding together and attacking humans like that. First things first. There's great job out there, Mosh. Thank you, Master. I managed to fend off the attackers without sustaining any injury, all thanks to your support, Senpai. Alright, the load on the Ortonex is well within its tolerance. Da Vinci did an amazing job tuning it up. Oh, that's right. Senpai, is that girl? It uh, Grazier, Grazier, no, Gur, no, Burr, Grazier. Oh, holy, oh, heavenly mother, oh, merciful goddess, please, I beg of you. Even if the giants do smush me flat, please let me stay with everyone else after I die. I don't think you want to be stuck on the planet after you die. Um, excuse me. Is she speaking Swedish? The talisman doesn't have any problem translating conversation, but it's still a little hard to make out what she's saying. Uh, it might just be me, but it kind of sounds like she has a strong accent too. She probably does have a strong accent. It's okay, you can open your eyes. All the giants are gone now. Oh, that's right. We're not going to hurt you. I promise you're safe for the moment. I, I'm i alive. I mean, there's no more Burr Grizzier, Grizzier Sour around. That's right. You have nothing to worry about. There are no more giants around here. I think she's trying to say Berserker, but her accent is making her say Berserkseer. At least that's what I'm hoping. Probably not, but I'm going to go with that for now. That's amazing. I can't believe it. The goddess must have sent you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You two saved my life. This That was amazing. That's so amazing. How did you do it? Usually anyone that giant sees ends up getting pancaked. But none of us are even a little bit squi squished. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Ahem, you're supposed to introduce yourself when you first meet someone you aren't you. I remember learning that. My name is Gerda. Gerda. Hello, Gerda. That's a lovely name you have. It's a wonderful Nordic ring to it. It has a wonderful Nordic ring to it. Thanks, hee hee. I like the way it sounds too. It's very nice to meet you both. Miss Black Armor, Mr. Black Hair. What are your names? I'm Dante Yeager. And I'm Mosh Curlite. Dante Yeager and Mosh Curlite, huh? Got it. You two are incredible. I can't believe you really saved me. What village are you from? You don't seem like you're shivering. How can you not be cold with so few layers? I'm nice and warm thanks to my fur coat. I know I'd have to be ready for anything once I decided to go out on my own. The grown-ups won't help since they're busy getting everything ready for tomorrow, so I have to do it all myself. That includes the cooking and tending to the children who have come down with terrible fevers. Uh, oh right, a reward. When someone does something nice for you, you have to repay them. Oh, um, I don't have anything on me right now. I'd have to go back to the village. 
but but I also have to find a me the medical herbs before I go back. Hmm, what should I do? Senpai, senpai, this is the first Scandinavian we met. This must mean there are human villagers here. And they don't seem to have mutated to adapt to this environment like the Yaga had. Maybe that means their culture is closer to proper human history. Although, for some reason, her outfit doesn't seem like anything someone would wear in 2020. Regardless, I think she'll be willing to take us to her village once we get there. We can ask around. When the tree of emptiness is gone, she'll... Ah. Uh, yes. Once it's gone, all life in this lost bill will most likely... Well. But if we're going to restore our proper human history... I know it's just, I can't just let, let a little girl die. I know it's just. <clears throat> yes, I feel the same way. I think I would have fought off these giants even if you hadn't and said anything, senpai. Okay, I think that is my thing. I will be right back about to get my pizza. Uh, I'm back. Got my pizza and everything. I said, what time is it? Uh, sometimes I'm to sleep. Ugh. No. There's no way you would have just stood by, Senpai. That's just not who you are. You would always be the first to try and rescue her.
Ah, you're adorable. Come here. It's okay. Oh, that looks like fun. Let me try. Hop. Boo. Tihi, you're pretty. I mean, you're too pretty to be a mouse. Maybe you're a dog or a cat. It's neither. <clears throat> oh, I know. You must be a horse. That is not a horse, child. Of course. I've never seen any animals besides sheep this close before. You're so beautiful. Oh, but I did see something else beautiful just a little while ago. It was a rainbow, a huge seven color rainbow that stretched all the way past the mountains. Cause I gotta put my dog away. So she about to try to eat my food and it's already time. Bedtime. Hold on, did I miss something? <laughs> Nobody else saw it, but I did. Isn't that amazing, Tihi? Tihi, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish you could have seen it too. I wonder why Fo is su in such a good mood. Could it be the weather? Maybe he likes it cold like this. There, look, Senpai. We've only just met G Gerda and Fo has already taken to her. Oh wait, maybe it's the other way around and Gerda's actually the one who's taken to him. It's both actually. She's a cheerful girl, isn't she? Yes, she's very cheerful. And it sounds like she came all the way to find special medicine for a friend back in her village. She must be very responsible too. There's something I'm wondering about though. She says she was looking for a medical herbs, right? Does that mean plants can grow around here? Not to mention that if this is an emergency, why is she out here all by herself? And my guess, irresponsible adults. I don't know about other regions in this lost belt, but it's no secret dangerous giants roam around here. Ah, 
got. Uh, uh. Wait, I just got raided. What the fuck? Oh, by Draconic. Like, Zahak. How you doing? Um, J. J6 Hydra Void Primate Murder has what? Primate Murder has what? Did I miss something? Oh. Talk about that thing about a horse. Um, Crowbar Zero. How you doing? Doing good at chapter 11 now. Jesus Christ. I know, I mean, I don't know about other regions in this Lost Belt, but it's no secret dangerous giants roam around here. Oh shit, dude. Um, Hydra Void is only at chapter 3. I don't even think I'm at chapter 2. And of course, there's no way an ordinary human could fight a giant alone. They'd be dead for sure. <clears throat> if someone needed to come out here, I just finished free quest for Lost Belt 2. Nice. Shouldn't it be an armored group of adults who know how to fight? Those are good points. There must be more to this than we, I mean, we don't know yet. Are you guys talking about me? I have to farm aura steel now. <laughs> Crowbar needs some steel. That's right. I left my village to look for medical herbs. The grown-ups are too busy getting ready for tomorrow, so we kids have to take care of ourselves. What the hell? Irresponsible. And since I'm the big sister, I have to do my best to pull my weight. Hella irresponsible. That's pretty mature of me, right? Hee <laughs> hee. A fool. A Gerda. Um, Void says... Well, Crowbar says he needs 72 for Scotty. Void needs 0 for Scotty. Got 20. You're rolling for Scotty. Oh, uh, am I rolling for Scotty? Probably. I'm, I got like 90 Sankros right now, so I'm just saving up. Uh -huh. Is that a compliment? Thank you, Foo. You're such a good boy. Your fur is so pretty, too. It's so soft and smooth. Hydra Void, don't give up, dude. I was, um, during the last, um, special event with, uh, no, the last Guda, Guda 3, I was able to, um, I was able to roll four copies of Majin Okita, so. I d just don't give up, dude. Speaking of, I need to get my... Zuglion up because Mosh is kind of useless. Your fur is so pretty too. It's so smooth. It's so soft and smooth. For the past six months, I've always failed at gotcha. Use the power of foe. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm afraid it's dangerous here. This area seems to be frequented by giants. You're broke. Don't worry, I'm broke too. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. We only see them occasionally near the village, but I know there's lots of giants around these mountains. Still, there's nothing else I can do. The only one who knows how to use runes is the envoy, and she isn't coming until tomorrow. When's the 50th login update? Her runes of healing can cure people who are sick in no time. But Laura probably won't survive through the night without those herbs. Runes of Healing Envoy. Oh, the third anniversary? That's why I came all this way. Someone told me that there were amazing healing herbs near here. I think we also get some extra for beating rank up quests. Oh, right. They said they can cure anything and that they're especially good for fevers. So I'm um, well. I know it's reckless of me to be out here. We're not really ever supposed to leave the village. Really? Me? Well, yes. Nobody ever were supposed to leave. Isn't it like that in your village too? The only ones permitted to go outside the villages are the envoys chosen to be servants of the gods. 
All right, Crowbar, thanks for actually, I mean, thanks for um, joining me during the stream, even uh, short. Face reveal win. Oh, you're talking about demonic. God. Um, I'm sorry, but can you explain what you mean by the gods and invoice? He, nice try, but you won't trick me that easily. Lady Mosh, girl in black armor. People have always told me that only envoys of the goddess have swords and spears. But I don't know you use shields too. But I didn't know you use shields too. That's amazing, Lady Mush. Wait, me an envoy? Yeah, I can see it. S Senpai. Anyways. Let's go find these medical herbs you're looking for. Hooray, I was hoping you might offer to help me. Oh, does that mean you can read my mind? Even if you don't have any weapons of your own, Mr. Black Hair, you must be an envoy of the gods too. Tree of Emptiness, the sun. That's right. The Tree of Emptiness is like a huge tree that stretches all the way up to the sky. Have you ever heard of anything like that? As for the sun, we were hoping you might know something about why it's so big here. Sorry, I don't know what you mean. I don't know anything about either of those. She's a child. Why the hell would she know? My, I mean, also my username is... Wait, my username is named after the actual mythical Persian king, Zahak, who is also Angra Manu's son. Draconic. That makes you my son, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, because I am Angra Manu. But actually, no, I'm just, a, I'm just the human who was named Angra Manu. Sorry, I didn't know. I've never heard any legends about a big tree like that, and the sun's always been that size. What do you mean, what? <laughs> do you know I get it? Um, Angra Manu is my channel character, well, the fate version. I am your father. <laughs> yeah. I got my avatar. It's just like mountains always being made of fire or ice that's just how it's always been nobody asks why that joke is getting that joke is getting old I see ah oh no did I say something to offend you lady Bosch? I'm so sorry if my answer didn't satisfy you no no it's fine please don't worry about it mid you have nothing to apologize for right now. Let's just focus on finding those herbs. Are you sure? Okay, thank you. Ooh, they should be pretty close by. Senpai! In Norse mythology, the world tree y Yggdrasil, y no, Idrasil, played a very important role. I know she's young, but it seems a little strange that Gerda wouldn't know anything about it. We have free pancakes and no stress at all? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I mean, we have a whole bunch of people misusing the darkness, so. Oh, Draconic Dahak also followed me five, five minutes ago. Yeah, you're right. It does. Maybe they just don't have any legends about Idrisa here. Or... Yeah, you're right. It does. Right? I mean, of course they do. They're Scandinavian. Given that Lost Belts, by definition, are alternate histories that differ from proper human history, worlds where the pruning theoretical phenomenon uh, continue to take place to the present day. That was a mouthful. It is possible that the Norse mythology we know was altered somehow. It definitely was. Mountains of ice. Mountains of fire. A strangely large sun and giants. 
I wonder if all these things that seem so strange to us might have something to do with some different version of Norse myth. Dr. Paul and Media and maybe Abby. Assuming that the myth here was actually historical facts here. It just still is the world tree in Norse, the great tree at the end of the worlds that connects all nine worlds in Norse mythology. And it's said that each of its branches transcend time and space. That, um, J J6 didn't mention that, but I'm just gonna mention that because of the fact that I've actually been looking at a whole lot of videos that we've been talking about Idrisil. Senpai, Gerda, I'm sorry, but please stay still for a bit. Try not to make any sound. Midgar is the human world. Jotunheim is the... Jotunheim is not the world of giants, is it? Keep giant footsteps. Foe was the first to notice again. He must have since the giants present before we did. Here, let me look up Jotunheim. Because I was, I could have sworn that Yodahan was a land of giants or something. You see nine realms of Norse mythology. Oh, let me continue to read this. I'm sorry, Gerda. This must be a lot for you to take in all at once. How can I put this? Oh, Asgard is the realm of Aesir gods. Which actually they talked about previously. When it, um, and previously too. So let's see. The nine realms, the nine worlds in Norse mythology. Uh. Oh, Niflheim. Muse. Muspelheim, which the game has already stated multiple times, Asgard, Midgard, and Jotunheim, Vanaheim, Alfheim, Severd, Talfheim, Helheim, the nine worlds in Norse mythology are held, held in the branches and roots of the world tree Yggdrasil. Um, these worlds are the home of different kinds of beings like the home of gods and goddesses or giants. Niflheim, the mist world is the dark and coldest region in the world according to Norse mythology. Niflheim is the first of the nine worlds and Niflheim is placed in the northern region of Gin Un -ga Gap? I think that's how you say that? The no, that's not how you say that. The elders of uh, three wells are located in Niflheim, which is called I am not going to word that, but it's H V R V E R G L G E L M I R, which is bubbling, boiling spring, and it is protected by the huge dragon called Nidhug or, or Nihugger or something like that. Okay, it says, uh, all right, this must be a lot for you to take in all at once. How can I put this? Um, basically, Foe's got very good instincts. Oh, I see. He looks very proud of that, too. I see. Those footsteps aren't getting any quieter. It looks like the giant isn't about to leave. Well, of course not. They're almost there. We're almost there after all. Oh no, don't tell me the medical herbs are. Oh, Alfheim is the land of the fairies. Yeah, I know because of fucking Gungio. Um, this way, follow me, but be very, very quiet. Activate Ortonex stealth mode. It's silencing talisman should muffle the engine and exhaust noise. Okay. There, that should do it. Let's go, master. Hmm. 
this is the place. There, look. See all the grass. There's even flowers too. They say that long ago, there used to be places like that outside our village. There's two. Places where animals and flowers could grow and thrive. Isn't that just in a different place then? Probably in one of the other realms. They say it happens way up high in places between fire and ice mountains all the time. So I thought about it and decided to climb the ice mountainside. Not that it was much of a choice since humans can't climb the fire mountain, right? They'll, I mean, they'd be burned up. Oh, so that's not cold fire. I mean, that's not, I don't know. I thought that, um, blue fire, that bl the blue fire was something entirely different. I didn't think it was actual blue fire. I see. That does make sense. Maybe it's because we're relatively high up near the fire that the ice and snow have melted here. The air is nice and warm and you can see the land. That must be why plants and flowers can grow here. Nidhug is a drag is a dragon that rests at the bottom of the world tree and because of that of the squirrel that lives on the tree, uh Ratatisker provokes it into a competition with the giant eagle that li lived above the tree. The eagle and Nidhug compete in a competition to see who destroys Idrisil first. So what about the dragon? Oh uh, wait, not the dragon. Um, the world serpent, or is that a different? No wait, no the world serpent is Norse mythology. Let's see. The world serpent. Oh. Um. Jormungandr. Jormungandr. It almost. It's almost like a garden. Oh, Surtur is fated to burn down the tree. So, Furtur is. Surtur is the one who is destined to destroy all of creation. It is beautiful here. Um, I can't help but notice the giants. It is beautiful here. Y yes, there are giants walking around here too, but that has—I mean—that has helped us learn something, senpai. Right. It looks like Norse giants can live in all kinds of environments, not just cold ones. Yomagandr the world serpent is asleep until Ragnarok comes where he will fight his battle with Thor, right? Surtur is the king of the fire of the flame giants. In fact, judging from the way they're gathered here, they may even prefer warmer climates. I guess they don't like the cold either. There are a lot of them here. This is going to make things difficult. That's true. I suggest we whittle the giant numbers down a bit, collect the herbs we are after, then quickly activate the or the Orlarius board or thruster mode to make an escape getaway, an emergency getaway. So far, our path has been through the eastern ice forest, but the west looks to be a steep, snowy slope. So, if we can just get to that slope, the ski down the rest of the way, and ski down the rest of the way, yes, if you're good skiers, that will work, I think. But, how can we... We don't have any skis. Don't worry, we got that part covered. We've got something even better. Huh? You brought skis with you? Where are they? Surtur. Oops, I'm so sorry. Well, shit. Uh, it's okay, Gerda. We, um, we'll just, um, start the operation sooner than expected. Let me see. 
Said bye. Requesting orders and support. Right. Now let's get this operation underway. Hey. Understood, Master. Switching Ortonex from stealth mode to combat mode. Uh, moving to intercept the enemy now. The first wave is down. Auto tuning Ortonex for consecutive battles. Uh, releasing exhaust now. Output valves remain stable. I'm still good to go. Don't worry, foe. I'm conserving energy for our escape. Resuming battle, master. Whoa. Second wave defeated. Da Vinci really is amazing. I can't keep going. No problem. I can keep going. No problem. Uh, yes. I'm pretty sure I'm not pushing it too far. The Ortonex output is down by about 20% but it should be fine for another battle at least please don't worry about me senpai just tell me what you need me to do says I can't wait for the anniversary to drop to farm embers to level her right there's still wait yeah there's still a bunch more coming I'd just as soon avoid a fight if we can. What did you send me, dude? Oh. Miscellaneous myth, Ut Utgar Loki. Nice. Am I also rolling for the SSR? If you're talking about, um, if you're talking about Scotty, then yes. Huh? Foe, stop, Gerda. She's trying to run off on her own. I'll be right back. I just, I mean, I can't just sit around and do nothing while you guys fight. No, the J. Oh, the GSSR. What, what is it for? I mean, which? Let me see. GSSR. FGO 2020 The campaign Oh New Year's Lucky Bag? Is that what you're talking about? Gerda Kuh. You're not going anywhere There's the there's the 2021 New Year's one, but that's that one. I, well, basically, I'm rolling for everyone. I said, you pick a class to roll for, and there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I am doing that. I know what you're talking about now. Expanding the Ortonex functionality, temporarily boosting output. Amalg I mean, Amalgam go Goad. Yes, because I'm going for the um, extra class. I need to. I'm trying to summon the from the extra class and see if I can get. Uh, see if I can get Kiara. Hang in there just a little longer, Mosh. I will. Don't worry. I'm fine. I got the herbs. I did it. I really did it. Start heading for the western slope. Thanks. Understood. Are you going to do it? Oh, I'm guessing uh, Dragonic Zahawk is going to do it. Wow, you're so amazing, Lady Mush. Those giants are huge, but you fought them like they were nothing. I didn't think that was possible. I knew you can. Your I knew you envoys weren't scared of giants. I bet they could never catch and squish you like they do with all the grown-ups. Alt? What do you mean by... Say bye. Hang on tight. Hang on tight to me. You too, Gerda and foe. Okay, here goes. 
Equipping the Ortonex Olarian board attachment now. Activating emergency boosters. Are you going for assassins since that is the lower chance for getting a double along with berserkers? Okay. Also, have a chance to MP4 shooting. Nice. The wind pressure will be incredible. So make sure to keep your eyes closed. My visors will protect me. Switching over from stage 3 thrusters to emergency boosters. Alarius board standing by. 3, 2, 1. I am only missing grabs, Nito, and mysterious heroin X. Ignition. I am missing Gramps. I have Nito, Chris.